there, it's Christine and I'm back with a quick tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to be talking to you about tools that I use to keep things straight on my layouts. So we all have different tools that we love and I thought it would be fun this month to focus on different tools for different things just because I always like to hear what other people are using and how they're using it and so I thought that would be a useful thing for you guys. So first off, to keep things straight, I like to use a big clear ruler. And this is a ruler used, I believe, in quilting. And I got it from my mom and I tape it down with washi tape and set it on top of my project, which I'm also holding down with washi tape. And it makes it really easy with all those lines on it and the lines in my background to get things straight, especially when they when I don't need them to go any higher than the height of the ruler um, so that it's I, I believe it's about two inches tall so that works really good for that type of thing now another way I like to do if I want things to be a little higher on the layout is to use a piece of scrap paper and just cut it off wherever I want it to go so if I want it to be a line of words or shapes at four inches I'll cut a four inch strip and then I will attach it to my layout with washi tape and do the same thing that I did with the ruler, but I've just got some added height there to use. And this is a really simple technique to use, especially if you can't locate your ruler or other tool that you use to keep things straight. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is a new tool to me. It's the We Are Memory Keepers Laser Square, and I just got this a few weeks ago, and I know a lot of you have been asking to see how I'm using it and about how I'm liking it. And so far, I am loving it. Um, so this tool is available. I haven't seen it in a, a actual store, um, like a physical store, but all over the place online it's available. Um, and I'll put a link to its availability too in the comments down below. So this uses lasers that both go vertically and horizontally and you can see you can just push your project right up into that corner and it holds it nice and still and then align those lasers with where you want things whether it's you actually have a measurement for where you want them or you just kind of figure out where you want them. And it comes also with a self-healing mat that it rests on top of and it has like little notches so it'll hold that self-healing mat in place. So far, I just love this tool. It was easy to set up, it's easy to use, my daughter even who's nine is using it, and it works great. So those are the ways I'm keeping things straight. I'll see you next week with ways I make circles.